Oh, yes. It's coming. Pray for me. Madura, for me. Pray I find my way. Hey, friend, and welcome back. Hope you're doing fantastic. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is SIK Mr. Park J. Okay, I don't know what my hand was doing there, but I'm just very excited. If you follow me on Instagram, you know how excited I was and I've been and how overwhelmed I have been over the past couple of days, actually, especially on the day that I opened this particular package. Anyway, so all because of one of you babes that commented on the CEO of Gerard Cosmetics video, I am here to finally try out Gerard Cosmetics products for the very first time. I mean, I've swatched a couple and what now over the past couple of days but that like, like that's besides the point but like literally i can't believe i am here sitting down after my sister and i had been talking about buying one of their lipsticks especially over the past couple of years and we didn't really like get around to it and now i'm finally sitting here doing this i cannot believe it so before we get into this video i just want to say thank you so much to gerard cosmetics for sending me these products for being so nice especially jen gerard the ceo of gerard cosmetics so nice sliding into my instagram dm first of all commenting on my youtube video that one of you fan bam actually commented my name on her video that she uploaded when the whole beauty community thing was going down and she actually sent me a video message and i was like what what wait 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 what what me vesta esta video message excuse me who are me who am i who are we where we are i don't know you know and she's asked me to send her a list of the products that i would like to try i felt so weird i always feel I've, I've mentioned this a few times i always feel weird when someone wants to do something for me i had to just push myself so i ended up sending like four to five things and um the package arrived is heavier than four to five things it was a lot more than four to five things okay and i was so shocked i was like what well, why is this package heavy literally yeah so i've always swatched a couple of the products and i've used a couple of the products just kind of get my head around it especially the sprays i'm gonna fully like try it out for you guys to see how it works and there's some products that i like more than the others you guys know that it doesn't matter who the person is doesn't matter how much i love a brand i'm always still gonna be like honest because my integrity is more important if i feel like my integrity is gonna become I'm not gonna film a video about the products. That's literally my motto because I've seen so many dishonesty out there and I'd, I'm not about to be one of them. So, okay, this intro is so so long. If you yet to join the fan brand, please make sure you join the fan brand by subscribing down below. Turn the notification once you're done subscribing and thumbs up if you like it as well. I don't know what I just said. And without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. By the way, if you are the person that commented my name on Jen Gerard's YouTube video, if that was you, please comment down below so I can send you so many virtual hugs, okay? <laughs> and by the way, um, it didn't just stop at the products. They also signed me onto the affiliate program, which I still kind of feel weird about. And I had to push myself to tell you guys about it on Instagram a few days ago. So basically, there's going to be a link down below. It's an affiliate, 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 oh my God, affiliated link. So if you click it to go to Gerard Cosmetics website, whatever you buy it from there like i'm gonna earn a commission also i was given a discount code for you guys to have 30 percent off i wasn't sure if it was still available but i just tried it myself today it's still available as of today the 15th of october okay and the discount code of course is fembem for 30 percent off ah what should we start with actually let me just start by talking about products that i've kind of like sprayed and swatched over the past couple of days so first of all i was sent four sprays i've used a fair bit of this actually when it arrived it wasn't completely full and i was i was like mm what's going on so they sent four sprays yeah and i actually requested for the slay all day setting spray in the smell in the smell cucumber and i've sprayed this a couple of times already in addition to that they sent another one which is green tea and they also sent another one which is grapefruit one of it actually kind of stung a little bit actually i think it's um cucumber that kind of stung but after a while it goes down grapefruit also kind of stung a little bit especially when it, when it goes into my eyes but it smells just like grapefruit i love grapefruit i haven't had grapefruit in months if you like the smell of grapefruit you would like this one cucumber I wouldn't say smells just like a cucumber it kind of has some sort of a minty smell to it and i think that's kind of why it stings as well even my sister says like it's kind of a little bit minty green tea i can't remember yeah yeah it kind of has a little bit of a matcha green tea smell but not 100 percent does that make sense now they also sent a full size of the cucumber spray and i have not opened this also oh yeah there you go so this is how the other mini 
many bottles arrived you know this was the literally the quantity in there so it's not like full to the brim i've never really noticed if my setting sprays have been full to the brim before i never really paid attention to it until this one so i can't really compare it there's another one as well that was sent that i requested for it's the mystified hydrating facial mist so all the sprays have been advertised to be good for spraying before and after your makeup now i've mentioned so many times as you guys know that i don't i hardly use setting sprays anymore i mainly use setting sprays when i want that extra assurance like if i'm going to a party like when i went to the ball recently i used a spray if i'm going somewhere that i know like i'm going to be sweating i use a spray for that extra assurance when i'm just going out for a couple of hours i don't generally use a spray i just make sure that my base is properly set so i would still be gravitating towards these sprays for my base now in terms of base in this slate or day collection i have used all these before my makeup and i can honestly say that it does have a positive effect when it comes to the longevity of your makeup throughout the day i didn't really put this oil at all until it was time to take off the makeup so i think about eight hours or so later i also sprayed it over my foundation yesterday when i was going to work and you know as a nurse eight hour shift okay i did not touch up my face whatsoever when i got home there was literally like no makeup has moved around on my face except for the area where i was wearing glasses and, and there was an obvious indentation of my glass mark and that is my fault because i applied a lot more foundation in this area and it's my fault but not really as well because i had to reapply foundation in this area because of one of the other spray which i'll get to in a second so would i recommend this spray for oily skin yes absolutely but you need to like be careful of the smell you buy it depends on what kind of on how sensitive you are to smell and as i mentioned if you like grapefruit smell you're gonna like this if you like kind of like those mint tea related smell you like the green tea um the cucumber one it doesn't really smell like a cucumber it just has more of a minty smell to it the green tea oh this is green tea slash ginger that is why that's why it doesn't smell just like a green tea to me i, I knew that there was under smell to it but i wasn't really quite sure so this is actually green tea slash ginger can you read that you probably can in terms of longevity of makeup it does help with that even if you only spray it before your makeup especially after putting down your primer and all that you will still have the get the effect from it now the spray that i'm not really like gassed about that i don't really i wouldn't necessarily reach for especially for over my makeup is the mystified hydrating facial spray now i was like okay did i use this wrong but when i read it it says spray before or after your makeup application to keep your skin hydrated and smooth and all that so yesterday when i was going to work even though i was delirious because i didn't slept at all after i did my foundation i decided to spray it just kind of feel a little bit more hydrated because i kind of did the most and i was feeling a little, bit, a little bit too matte you know and i sprayed it and literally left a bunch of spots all over my foundation so it was really hard to fix i to literally wipe it off mainly the top part because anybody got time and now to reapply so this is one of those sprays that's gonna give you uh you know spots all over your face if you're not careful okay even if you are careful you're still gonna get spots all over your face another thing that i don't really like about it is the spray the hole itself it just kind of sprays a little bit thick most of the time unlike the nozzle or whatever of this one you know oh i'm wasting i don't want to waste it this one is more mist meanwhile this one is kind of like a straight shooter in a negative way but when i do spray it over my primer before i apply foundation my face definitely ugh, feels hydrated i just tasted that grapefruit and it tastes just like grapefruit <laughs> bitter <laughs> i can't believe i finally got to test this and i can't believe i finally own this i've always heard nikia joy she's an australian youtuber i've always heard her talk about the slay all day spray and she actually has a uh, a own scent with them we have been talking for so 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 long i am gonna go ahead and continue to the next product this next product i'm a little bit iffy about it mainly because like you'll be able to probably remember like my stance on what, what are they called like illuminating products to apply before or after your before your foundation and all that that's why but i'm glad to have it all the same this is the bb plus illumination facial cream this one is comes in a 50 ml squeezable tube as you can see they've already opened it. it also comes with a pump as well and this shade is dorothy 
thing so beautiful do you, do you I, I applied a lot i keep wasting product absolutely beautiful do you see this so the idea of this apparently is to apply to clean skin over or under foundation or moisturizer today i mixed it with the foundation i wore today which is the elego pro coverage hd illumination longwear illuminating foundation in the shade coffee and rich cocoa and this foundation is already illuminating i didn't want to mix it with a matte foundation because of this reason this thing right here dries matte <laughs> It dries matte, okay? Not like slap your face matte, but it's an obvious matte. So I didn't want to combine it with a matte foundation. It's just like shooting myself in the foot. I can still see a little bit of the glowing effects, but not as much. I will be mixing it with some of my foundations, but I won't be reaching for it all, all the time. But I just really like the shade as well. It's just so beautiful. Let me just apply this on my face so you can see what it kind of looks like, you know, on the face. I'm just going to quickly grab it with my finger and quickly apply. I'm just going to apply to the highest point of my cheek right here it dries so quick so you gotta be quick so it's already dried okay with my sponge yet okay if i keep going i can build up the glow but i honestly want to play with the other highlighters okay all right so next this is the kiss assist lip plumper what color is this purplish pinkish i don't know it's a color it's a pretty color okay and the day that you arrived I, I just had to use it because i've always always wanted a lip plumper now when you apply it, you're going to feel, it's, it's going to feel tingly, girl. It, feel, it felt really, really tingly on my lips. And then a few minutes later, it started to feel a little bit more cool. I don't even necessarily plump my lips because I already kind of have a relatively, not big, but not small either lips, okay? But my sister said she noticed a difference. But I'm going to apply it right now on the lips because uh, we did something on this lips. Yes, it started. Oh, yes it's coming so while my lip is tingling let's go to other highlighters okay so i was sent three highlighting palettes even though i only put one highlighting palette on the list and i am so grateful that i was sent three okay because i just felt really weird i didn't want to like overdo it okay like i'm not one of those people that you invite to stay in your house and they end up taking your house away from you i'm not like that the highlighters in the first one here is called lucy marilyn and grace and i believe this is the one that i actually selected mainly because of the name lucy and marilyn i just kind of I like, I love Lucy, you know the show I love Lucy and Marilyn Monroe, I don't know, it's just, I just, yeah. And the other one is Wifed Up Blush, First Class Blush, hashtag forever bronzer. Forever. Did anyone see that card in B? Ah, oh, so funny. Goodness gracious. Oh, it's not in Harlem. Oh, I thought it was highlighting palette. So this is a blush and bronzer palette. I think I might have said on Instagram that it was highlighting palette. Whoops. Anyway, so this is the first one right here. This is the shade Lucy. Lucy is like a rose gold highlighted highlighter. And all these highlighters feel so smooth. Like literally, they feel so smooth like butter. Okay. And the next one right here is Marilyn, which is more on that beige color highlighter. They're so pretty and this one right here is called grace oh my goodness grace is more kind of leaning towards the white side but not white either now when i was watching hillary's recent video i think she posted it three weeks ago but i finally watched it this morning and um, she was talking about a highlighter that she had finished and a brand sent it to her and she mentioned it she said this is the Jura cosmetics lucy highlight i'm like girl girl we got the same and she applied it and it looks so good on her it's this one right here it's in the starlet palette okay so they have actually bigger size which is called the star powder so she has the star powder version but in the shade lucy and i believe the shade lucy in the star powder version is the same as the lucy in the starlet palette this starlet highlighting palette also comes with a mirror and the star powder also comes with a mirror but it's like single and it look do you see this and it has this protective film to it and look at this as you can see i've already swatched it and i used this yesterday okay anyway this one is in the shade bridget kind of peachy i think peach and it feels so smooth so soft like hello rina what she was talking about girl it's so smooth so soft oh my goodness you need to feel it and this one reaches for 36 australian oh okay so gerard is like high end high no i thought they're they high-end okay just just 
yeah in my opinion anyway my pocket opinion the blush and bronzer whatever that i was talking to you about earlier is the starlet honeymoon palette which has two blushes and one bronzer now this right here is not for my skin let me just yeah see i can't see it it's kind of like my skin tone powder really even though it's got like a pink base to it so this one right here this is the bronzer it's called hashtag forever bronzer yeah still isn't a bronzer on me this would mostly be a powder on me on my skin tone i'm just using it to touch up okay so this one is not for my skin tone as a bronzer let's try this blush with this brush so these ones are a little bit powder oh my god they smell good they smell so good Ooh, ooh, that shows. Do you see this? I, I get a lot of kickback here. It's probably this brush because this brush is a bit, um, it's kind of like um, stabby or whatever. Let me use a softer br brush. Yeah, when using a softer brush, there's no kickback. I would reach for this palette as a blush, mainly the color in the middle right here, which is like a, I don't know, honestly, I can't describe it, but this is called First Class Blush. So we've got the Starstruck palette. Now let's put Lucy on our face. I love Lucy yes you see that and i didn't even spray the brush it's so soft gentle on the skin looks really smooth it's just beautiful look do you see this yes now let's swatch the middle one for you babes it's called marilyn oh oh wow sorry i'm sorry let's put it here Ooh, there's something about highlighters girl okay let's swatch grace I like these highlighters. My, one of my favorite things about makeup is highlighter. And I like to go gentle and gradually. And then we get there, we're like, what? Wet? Wet? Yes, actually, it looks wet, you know? Now, Lucy, no, not Lucy, Bridget, the star powder. I used Bridget yesterday morning, as I mentioned. And I was like, what? Who is she? <gasps> even when I got to work, they're like, whoa, you even got highlighter on? I'm like, yeah, I was feeling so tired and delirious that I had to like literally make myself feel better, okay? I love this packaging. Bridget is gonna be going everywhere with me. Woo, ready? Mm. Oh. I'm not speaking to y'all, I'm not. I'm just gonna sit here and just keep brushing you know the cement glowing the hated i don't even know which shade is my favorite but bridget and lucy girl they can party on my face bridget and lucy look really similar yeah they look similar but they're not you see bridget is more lighter than lucy mixed with the blush bridget looks more like lucy you know mixed with the pink blush Woo! okay all right so let's step away from this okay this is becoming like my next video you all know how excited i was about the whole highlighter thing and um this one's giving me all kinds of excitement as well right now you know and now that we're kind of glowing and i'm definitely gonna add a little bit more later okay let's put a little bit in the inner corner <laughs> She thinks she's done and then she just goes back in. Actually, I told you all about the illuminating cream. Let me put the illuminate. Let me put the illuminate. Did you see that? <laughs> you wanted a taste of me. I'm gonna put the illuminating cream. Yes, right here. Tap the edge before it dries. And it takes about five to 10 seconds to dry. Like I kid you not, five to 10 seconds okay so here we are let's try the lipstick so i was sent five lip pencils so the lip pencils retail for 16 us dollars each and they are beautiful this is what they look like they they have a gold packaging um and the tips are the colors of the lip pencils itself and it says gc right there Gerard cosmetics and also as it says lip pencil and the shade name is on the top right here and so it has a lid oh my goodness oh my goodness and apparently you can sharpen these as well here we are so the first one right here is called mud slide the second one is called luna third one is called red brick road fourth one is called Melrose place which is a place in the us i believe and the last one is called night shift literally this color right here represents my mood whenever i'm going for night shift okay <laughs> all right so i just tried to swatch the lip pencils on my lip but i remembered how hard it was to kind of 
rub off my hand after I dry it down. So I'm not gonna go through that route, okay? So you see some kind of discoloration, that's why. But just know that the lip pencils are very pigmented on the lips. If you, you can use it as a lip liner, you can also use it to fill your entire lips. These are the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. Boss Lady is kind of like that dark vampy color. I love it. It smells like a biscuit packaging. It's interesting. So this is Boss Lady. Let me just put it there. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. In the words of Patricia, literally. Okay, that, I think, oh, whoa, it's already stained my lips. I think that's how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a tiny swatch on my lips so you can see it. This is Strawberry Field. This has like a pinkish tone to it. Mm, mm. That's Strawberry Field. And this is a model. This is more on the red side. Okay, so this is the model, and nicely pigmented. This is Plum Crazy. This one and Boss Lady, girl, yes. This one smells more like biscuit. I'm weird. I know I could put it all over my lips, but this video is already so long as it is. This is everything nice, sugar and spice, everything nice. I cleaned my teeth at the dentist the other day. I no longer have gunks in my teeth, I cannot smile and go. <laughs> everything nice is so pretty, yes. I would use everything nice with a brown lip liner. Imagine that ombre, oof. No, I would use everything nice with boss lady, yes. And the last one here is called Invasion. What the aliens have been trying to do, but people are fighting it invasion is 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 it, it wants to invade my lips right now because um invasion is likely to kind of make me look a little bit casty if i don't use a lip liner okay there's so many lipsticks here that i am so overwhelmed i, I don't know which one i want to use i'm not really sure about the longevity i can't do a dedicated review on the liquid lipstick so let me know so let's go with the lip gloss this retails for 24 us dollars oh my gosh but the packaging girl this is the thing that always draws me to it the packaging i love the packaging are you ready wait for it it has a mirror it has a mirror you have to peel it off of course but this is one that's already peeled off and it's a good quality mirror i can see my lips i can even see my eyes i noticed the other day that it lights up i don't know in what situation it would light up i kind of pressed the button here but it does it's not lighting up right now i don't know this is the shade nude oh wow i just did an ugly face <laughs> oh my god it feels good on the lips so that's good and it's not like sticky sticky my main qualm i would say about it is the wand it's not like it's not giving me a lot of products you know that is that is beautiful this one right here is called pretty penny this looks a little bit metallic shiny 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 yeah yeah it's got shine to it honey mm. color is like something i want to pour all over my body you know what i mean okay Let's play with crystal. This looks like a yellow shimmer. Oh yeah. Oh, it yeah, applies kind of yellow too on the lips, like gold. Oh, I wish this packaging could give me more. Give me, give me more. Give me more. Give me, give me more. <laughs> oh, Britney Spears, man. And I like yellow. I don't know why I like yellow glasses. I just like the way it pops on the lip. So let's go into the lipstick. So this lipstick right here is 19 US dollars and this is the particular lipstick I have been staring at for a couple of years now, literally, especially ever since I found out about Gerard Cosmetics. Do you see this? Like, I put a spell on you. Wait, that's Fifty Shades. I was trying to think of um, 007 theme song. Oh, that's the same thing. <laughs> So there's six lipsticks here and there's two glitter lipsticks. The glitter lipstick is coming in a rose gold packaging and the lipstick lipstick itself comes in a gold packaging. Like whenever I buy lipsticks, I never ever want to use it because I just like the shape. I just wish there was a way you can just snap lipsticks back into this shape once you start using it. But it ends up looking all ugly and all that, okay? But anyway, let's just swatch a couple. This is Berry Smoothie. Oh, it feels really smooth really smooth on the lips oh hello i like that color all right so if you pile it on you you will get more pigment but i can still see my lips a little bit you know so it's not as pigmented but it feels so smooth on the lips it's like it's literally i was about to say literally it's literally like i applied um balm on the lips but pigmented balm now we've got vintage rose vintage rose looks like very smoothie Hmm, how does Berry Smoothie feel wetter than Vintage Rose? Interesting. So this is Berry Smoothie and this is Vintage Rose. They both have that blush pink 
shade to it. Vintage is more dry-ish. Okay, so there is Vintage Rose. I'm not calming down long enough to do a slow-mo, but that is a pretty color. This is Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive looks really, really close to Vintage Rose. Do you see that? Oh, this is an interesting color. This is called Underground. This definitely does look like I would look a bit casty, like Underground related. Yeah, this color looks like the color Invasion in the look in the Hydra Matte lipstick. Yep, nope, this ain't for me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely customize it, you know? This is called Cherry Cordio. This is kind of like that vampy color as well. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. This looks like a Coke, you know, Coca-Cola. Definitely did not apply that properly, but you get the gist. Wow, I like that. Imagine I'm bringing that with something else, yes. And here we are, we've got my type. Kind of has like an orange tint to it. Wow, vibrant. Imagine this on the lid. <laughs> I'm weird. I would definitely wear this on its own. Actually, I'm weird like that, but you definitely see me from a mile away, okay? So, oh, I forgot to show you. So this is the amount of products you get in each lipstick and the 4.0 grams. Yep, yeah, that's right. All right, now let's go into the glitter. These these glitters, I'm a little bit wary of them because they, they, they glitter lipsticks. Um, I don't really do that except if they're gloss, but let's see what they're gonna look like on the lips. So there's two glitter here. This is called All Access, which is what I kept telling Idris, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not responding to me. But anyway, so there it is, All Access. Huh, it's the glitter glitter. I can feel the glitter on my lips. I think I would rather put something else underneath and then put this in the middle to so kind of have that glitter effect in the middle, like a topper. And now this is the shade Hollywood Boulevard. This one as well, I'm not really quite sure of because of the color. This one is more brighter than All Access. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah, this is more of a topper product, yep. <laughs> or like a special occasion, like a, like a costume party, Halloween. It looks like I'm ready to party. I think that's all the products. Oh, wow, we've been here for about three hours. <laughs> I definitely played with the highlighters more than I showed you guys, okay? So now, I literally do not know what lipstick I wanna use. Boss lady. Yes, boss lady. Wow, I went all out. <laughs> I look vampy. I was sent a mirror as well that says slay all day at the back. And it says, ooh, I just saw myself in the reflection. I look beautiful. And it also says Gerard Cosmetics as well. Okay, so this is already drying down, but it's not like completely dried down yet. Let me just clean up the edge here by using the lip pencil, the shade Night Shift. Wow, Night Shift is literally like Boss Lady. Just met, match, match, matched well. I should, I should probably clean it up some more, but I honestly cannot be bothered. I'm just curious. This is the glitter, the all access. It's definitely a topper. This is Bollywood Boulevard. <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> ew, it transfers the right teeth. Ew, 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 ew. I freshly clean teeth, excuse me. This is, it's a party. It's a party. I want my lips to be brighter, but we're gonna leave it like this, okay? But anyway, that's all the products I was sent. I'm never gonna bother doing my hair. I don't know, there's no point, you know? I just want to play with these products and share the products that I was sent to you, babes, and also kind of extend my gratitude to whoever it was that commented my name on Jen's video, and also my gratitude to Gerard Cosmetics, you know, Jen Gerard herself, for sending me these products, even through the hassle of postage, FedEx or whatever, they tried us, but God put us through, you know, even with the whole hassle, they were so nice throughout all of it and thank you so much for including me in the affiliate program and for giving me a discount code to give you fan bam so yeah let me know in the questions down below if you're like me and you've never ever tried Gerard cosmetics products before and let me know if you have and which of these products have you tried before and which one is your favorite you know but yeah thank you so much once again babes for your support thank you fan bam thank you Gerard cosmetics shout out goes to whoever commented my name on that video i appreciate you i don't know who you are please let me know before my next video so i can give you a proper shout out i appreciate you babe and i love you guys so so much once again thank you for 8,000 subscribers i had fun in today's video now we're gonna go and have fun editing i love you guys thank you so much for watching as always whatever you're doing to so love yourself and i see you guys in my very next video bye